cherry pie, lemon meringue, apple cobbler, pazuki. Ooh, here we go. Chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> In a mixing bowl. Ooh, I hate mixing. All that hard work and twisting and stirring. And if only there was something that could do the work for me. Yes! Now this is what I'm talking about. Plug it in and it'll do all the work for me. Okay, here we go. Cream one cup of butter with brown sugar. Ah, cup. <laughs> Ooh, get rid of that there. Okay. Now let's see. I don't have brown sugar, but I know the next best thing. It's brown and it's made of sugar. Ha! Perfect. Here's a little bit of genius that they'll never show you on the cooking shows. Now, two eggs. You know, the shells add calcium to the cookies, which makes them officially a health food. Yeah! Now, baking soda and salt. I think I'm a little bit ahead of them there, aren't I? <laughs> I already added the soda, duh. <laughs> and as for salt, a teaspoon, huh? Hmm. Well, you can't find the teaspoon, but a spoon's a spoon, right? You know, I love cookies, but I also love potato chips. And what makes them so great? Salt. Now, two cups of flour. Ah, flour. Flour, flour, ah, flour. Just like pepper, fresh ground flour is always best. Add chocolate chips. Oh, there's never enough chocolate chips in these things and they're never big enough. Aha. You know, I'm trying to be humble here, but I have a feeling these are going to be the greatest cookies in the known universe ever. Three, two, one, liftoff. We have a liftoff. Place teaspoons of batter on cookie sheet. That'll take way too long. I'm gonna make one really big cookie. Bake at 350 degrees for 20 minutes? <laughs> Aha! I told you this was an old recipe. Why should I listen to something this old when everyone knows everything goes in the microwave these days? Duh! <laughs> and in one minute, I will feast on the world's greatest cookie! I like to think of the sparks as little fireworks celebrating my cooking accomplishment. Like I always say, chocolate chip cookies taste best when licked off the kitchen wall.